ain't ever seen no demons. No ghosts. No magic. Hey friends, this is Tig in with another reaction video, and today we're going to be doing a reaction on Sinners, starring Michael B. Jordan. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is about. Um, I always like Michael B. Jordan. I think he's a good actor. Average. I don't think he's like really, really extreme. And a lot of the times he doesn't take any roles that might stretch his acting capabilities. I feel like he's capable of doing it. It just he won't take any roles like that for some reason, right? While there's many actors out there that, you know, they might do stage plays and and different types of characters whether they successful or not they at least make attempt to improve on the acting skills but unfortunately and when i talk about black people i only mean americans i'm not talking about people in england or other countries for some reason black people don't feel like they need to stretch out their acting capabilities and i brought up in another video when i was talking about denzel washington now denzel washington did take um, time when he was younger to stretch out a little bit but not a lot though i mean don't get me wrong i still think these guys are good actors and denzel washington is definitely a great actor but i don't feel like that they take make the attempts to improve on the acting capabilities and i think it's possible that the black community might have something to do with that okay but we can get more into that after the reaction so let's go ahead and get into this but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with it. I've been all over this world. I seen me and die in ways I ain't even know was possible. Hey, brother. Be careful. I will. Okay. Twins. All right, that's interesting. With all the things that I've seen. I ain't ever seen no demons, no ghosts, no magic. Till now. They get back inside. Let me in, man. Keep dancing with the devil. One day he's going to follow you home. What? All right, we just reacted to Sinners, starring Michael B. Jordan. I think Haley Seinfeld is in this too as well. I think that's what her, that was her. But either case, it does look interesting. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a very interesting movie. But at the beginning of the video, I was saying that a lot of black actors and actresses do not really stretch their acting capabilities. Now, when I look at black people that come from like England or something like that, they do take more chances. And I can tell by uh, this particular movie that he's doing a very decent uh, country accent, you know, from the South kind of a, like uh, accent. I don't think that's the most difficult accent to do. I think a lot of people can do it. Some people say I even sound like I'm from the South. So it is what it is. Now, I give him that. that he, he's stretching it a little bit that he want to be a Southern man. But the problems I have with this uh, with this trailer is the fact that they're they're going back to the, you know, back into the jim crow era or right after slavery era and all this kind of stuff man they seem to keep going back to that and i mentioned that the black community i believe have something to do with that 
because I feel like they believe that if they make any other type of movie that's very creative, like a sci-fi or some kind of like, you know, really interesting type movie, uh, when they have to do something outside of the black community type stuff, they feel like black people won't show up to watch it. And I think sometimes they feel like if they did something like that, then nobody will watch their movie because they don't believe that they're being supported by white people or any other uh, class or race of people. And I say you should take the chance regardless. Take the chance. So what if you lose money? You probably don't lose a lot of money. Do a lot of independent films where you can do something different. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Michael B. Jordan is a very talented actor, a talented director. And I think he writes too as well. Very talented guy. I'm not trying to take away from his talent. I just say that, you know, for the future of black people in the black community, I think they should stretch out their acting capability. There are things they can do that can, you know, shy away from all this slavery or Jim Crow and all this other stuff, voodoo and everything else that they keep going back to for some reason, right? Now, I know they, they probably mastered this going back to race and going back to the slave time. They mastered these type films, but I'm just getting tired of seeing it. I want to see something different. And like I said, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be some kind of spiritual voodoo type stuff going on, horror type stuff. Like uh, Jordan Peele, because he was he he do, to, in my opinion Jordan Peele is ready to do something different. Even though a lot of times he keep going back to the black thing, but at least it's somewhat he he's he's changing up in some ways to make it more interesting. But I feel like Michael Jordan and the director, um, they work together on Creed and everything else. I forgot his name, but either way, um. They, they keep going back to these type things, always the black thing, okay? And I don't think it's necessary. You can just do regular movies and you can have other white people in your movie, that's okay. You can, just, you can do sci-fi. You know, that's my problem I have with Oprah Winfrey and, um, and what's his name? Uh, they refuse to do anything outside of black movies. And I understand they wanna get their friends, you know, um, give their friends parts and jobs and things of that sort. And they didn't want to sit around drinking their wine, talking about, you know, how we, we uplifted the black community. But I don't think this is really uplifting the black community. I think it's been stagnant. I think they're not growing. I think they're not doing the things they need to do to get us out of this funk. Because I'd rather look to the future instead of keep looking through the past. I'm tired of that. And the reason why they probably com they complained about not making as much money as other movies is because white people are doing everything they're not sticking to one thing they're doing old movies slave movies uh, uh jim crow movies but then they're doing modern movies they're doing futuristic movies they're doing comedy they're doing all kind of stuff instead of the same old thing over and over again and this and, and when they do movies it's not about being white it just happened to have white people in it <laughs> you know what i'm saying they ain't constantly sticking in your face hey we white we white we white it's, it's, it's not important when people just want to be entertained and that's what I wish that they would do I wish that they would take the talent that they obviously have because Michael B. Jordan is very talented the director that did this movie is very talented I wish they would do something different I, I, I forgot Tyler Perry's name for a second I, I meant to mention him while I was talking about Oprah Winfrey but that's just another person with a lot of money to keep going back to the same old thing over and over again I believe they believe that black people are only interested in that that's a lot because we watch everything we watch aliens we watch old movies about other white actors or whatever we watch it all just like everybody else but for some reason we keep going back to this stuff you know what i'm saying chinese people they do different things they don't talk about their culture basically they just do the movie and whatever hard they're not limited to just trying to talk about china china or japan or or hispanics don't always they sometimes talk about their culture but a lot of times they don't talk about their culture they just want to do movies but unfortunately we we keep getting boxed in these same areas which is irritating it's irritating to me this movie could have even more potential if they keep stop doing the black thing over and over and over again you know, I ain't saying that there's no room for these type of movies. I'm just saying I wish they would experiment, do something different. That's all I want to do. Uh, um, oh boy, the director Skigler or whatever his name is, right? He he did um, Black Panther, another black thing, but it shows that he able to do something different at least, right? 
but he keep going back to this. Always the black thing, okay? I mean, like, I'm just glad they have Haley. I think that's Haley Cypher. I'm glad they at least put her in the picture. Because, you know, they got to have some white people in the picture because they want white people to come see their movie. They do. As much as they might talk down to white people and say white people, white people are racist and all that kind of stuff, they still want white people money. <laughs> so they're going to throw a couple of, a sprinkle, a couple of white people in there. But you, you can help the black community by getting them out of a stagnant. That's the whole point. These guys are rich now at this point, right? They can make whatever they want. And that's the whole point of being rich is having the freedom to do the, the, the creative stuff that you want to do. And I don't believe Michael B. Jordan just want to keep going back to the movie. But then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, again, I'm saying all this stuff. I'm not saying this is a bad trailer. It looks like an interesting movie. And I like the fact that he's, he, he's, um, at least he's doing a different accent. <laughs> at least, right? But it's, but you can just tell we're going back to that same old, old black people, you know, we the collard greens and stuff like that. That's why you always see these politicians, well, it's usually liberals, right? Always going back to the same hot sauce and collard green conversation when they talk to us. Because for some reason, they feel like that's all we interested in. And it's not. We interested in the same thing every other race is, okay? We want to be successful. We want to have money. We want we want to have families. We want to just enjoy things. We want to see new things. We want to we want to explore the future. But for some reason, Hollywood won't allow it. Because I'm I'm assuming that for some reason I heard rumors. I'm not sure exactly sure how how factual this is. Hollywood refused to green light any movies by black people if it isn't isn't about stuff like this. They refuse to do it. If you if you come up with some creative idea that takes black people out of slavery and Jim Crow and all this other stuff, Hollywood ain't interested because they think only black people like certain things, tennis shoes and, you know, uh, alcohol and slave movies and things. That's all we like for some reason. And, you know, it's always the same thing over and over and over again. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, white YouTubers that are doing this trailer, talking about how great it is, fantastic. They'll never talk about th this particular problem. I think only black people can see it. Now, this could probably be a lot of black people talking about, oh, it's great, fantastic, whatever, whatever, whatever. They want to stick to the pro-black thing constantly, okay? Me, personally, I want to see something new. I love varieties of uh, movies. I love independent movies. I love... Uh, movies that make you think. I love sci-fi. I love all these type genre movies, man. Love stories. All of it, man, right? But every time a black movie comes out that looks somewhat interesting, and you know there's very talented people behind it, it's always the same thing. He, they, they might vary it by throwing some kind of horror thing, ghost and goblins or whatever into it, but it's still that same old thing over and over and over again. And it's getting tiring. Very tiring. That's my rant. Okay. But all in all, this uh this is interesting. Now, I I always um I started this thing, it's kind of new for me now. Every time I do a reaction to a movie, I want to see how other people see this trailer. I want to see if they're excited about it, what they think about it, whatever. Okay. I got a feeling I'm gonna all I'm gonna all see positive stuff on this okay i got a feeling but let's go ahead and get into the comments all right let's get started jdy sin finally a trailer that doesn't show the entire plot i missed those okay uh t sakane zanti i'm so surprised that marvel didn't think to let ryan coogler that's his name ryan coogler or michael b jordan direct and write the blade movie because it's clear that they had the uh, in ingredients to cook up a good vampire movie here okay i, I have to agree about that I, that is kind of surprising that they didn't use them to do that but maybe he just wasn't interested maybe he just wanted to do something different he already did the black panther Maybe he didn't want to jump into another thing that he didn't want to get into. They wanted to, you know, now that they're becoming more and more popular and they're doing their own directing and writing and all kind of stuff, they're trying to build something, which I would get excited about if they start doing different things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm afraid they're going to do the same Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey stuff. Keep doing this black thing, black people, you know, either they're going through racism or they blaming the black man for, for not stepping up or in slavery and jim Crow and I, uh, it's tiring tiring man just do something freaking different man. 
Lindsay Monroe. Marvel, we're having trouble making a Blade movie. Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan, fine, we'll do it ourselves. So, I mean, what is it? They supposed to be like hunting vampires or something? Is that what this is about? A ghost or something? I mean, it didn't really, you know, define what, what the monster is in this trailer. So I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about, but, you know. The ang the art angel. Now, that that's how you make a trailer. We got glimpses, not of the whole movie. Now the owners might be shocked and shook. Okay, I, I can appreciate that. I'm not saying it's a bad trailer. It's a good trailer. I mean, for what it is, it's good. It looks good. It looks interesting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they meant by the two twin brothers, how that's relevant, but maybe it is at some levels. But it is a good trailer. I'm, I do agree. Cosmic Dream. The dynamic duo of Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan is back to thrill. Yeah, I mean, like I say, man, and most of these comments most probably mostly going to be uh, black people. I doubt if I ever see anything to say, you know, maybe we should snap out uh, of doing the same old stuff over and over and over again. <laughs> but, you know, hey, they, I guess they just happy that they're making black movies or whatever. Jaguar with uh, Ludwig Gordonson on board. We know that the soundtrack will give us goosebumps. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but I obviously they must be talented, whatever. Uh, Jen Salt Derange, that what it is. Uh, no remake, no sequel, no prequel, no reboot. Just an original story, beautiful. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not taking away from Oprah Winfrey for her creativity or backing up decent looking movies or Tyler Perry being a be, be creative and stuff like that or Michael B. Jordan or Ryan Coogler I'm not taking away from any of their talent I'm just saying that they don't you know hit the ground running man with some great uh, creative stuff it's like they afraid to lose money they look we're just gonna please these certain type of black people and that's it we're gonna get our money and then just go about our business and make another one just like this I don't think they want to take risks and lose money. Cause look, look at Hollywood, man. When you talk about white people, they lose money all the time. But it doesn't stop them from being creative. Matter of fact, they they start to improve and start to learn from that. But these these big um, wealthy black people, for some reason, can't find black backers. If Hollywood won't do it, find black backers that will. Did you want to do something new and different? But for some reason, they won't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not tearing down this trailer or tearing down the people that created it. I'm just saying, do something different. Google, um, what's it? Strike, uh, Striker Run Limited. Striker Run Limited. Okay. Cougar woke up feeling like Jordan Pill. Yep, exactly. I'm glad he's got the range to go across genres. This looks like an absolute banger. Okay, yeah, do something different. I, I, I give him credit for that, you know. But Jordan Peele, I think that he wants to be more uh, creative with the stuff. And that's what I like about Jordan Peele, man. He, he's he's willing to step out of something. I just wish he stopped making all about black people constantly, all the time. Just make movies, man. I mean, um... What's his freaking name, man? I hate it when I forget people's names. This is a black director. Uh, he always working with Denzel Washington, at least back in the day. Um, he started doing stuff. And after a while, he stopped doing just black movies. He started doing movies in general, you know? Like the, in, the Inside Man. I forgot his freaking name, man. I hate it when they but my mind slips like that. Uh, he started uh, doing... Um, uh, um, just movies. It won't just. He had black people in it, but it won't just about black people. And that's what I like about him. You know, I hated the fact he was just constantly doing black movies over and over and over and over and over again. He started to eventually start to say, "Look, I need to start doing something new and different if I need to stay relevant." And he started doing it, man. I loved the Inside Man, man. I thought that was an amazing movie. Denzel Washington was in it, and uh, it was some other people that was uh, well known, but. I forget the name of those two as well. But like I said, I'm just tired of these directors just doing the same thing. That's all I'm saying. Juror Fafafili, <laughs> whatever. That man at the door really laid it down with the acting. Looking forward to this. Okay. Um, Brooke, twin vampire brothers. Oh, yeah. So that's what this is. They supposed to be like vampires? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I Okay, I didn't see any signs of that. Maybe it's me. 
I, I, I didn't even know there was about uh, maybe they read something I didn't read. Yep. Okay, I skipped this one. Excuse me. The Cosmic Director. Let me go ahead and read this. This and Mickey 17, both featuring two really good actors playing two um, characters and directed by two acclaimed directors, also both with WB. What a co coincidence. Okay, interesting. Uh, Tony Key, whatever. Haley Seinfeld. What an absolute beauty. Okay. Yeah, she willing to do stuff, man. I'm glad they, they put her in there, man. I'm just, I just wish that, okay, y'all heard me. I, 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 I made my complaints about it, man. You know, other than, let's just, just focus on the fact of, of this trailer and stuff. I mean, keep going back to, I wish they would do something completely, you know, black free as far as what happened in the past. I just wish they focus on the future. Uh, one more, uh, Daryl, the real G, <laughs> okay. It's hard for me to read that tape because the words all together. I heard about a vampire movie that was going um, to have Michael B. Jordan and Haley Seinfeld. We need more and more. Okay, so it's a it's a vampire movie then. I guess I guess that's what they meant by um, if they couldn't make Blade, they decided to go ahead and go this route and something like that. That's very interesting. But they like I say, they could have. I ain't saying that this is bad. I hate to say this because it's not. I, I believe it's going to be an interesting movie. I really do. And stuff like that. I was just, you know, I'm just frustrated. Why, why didn't you do it in present times? Or why didn't you do it maybe in the future or something like that? Okay. Or, um, I mean, like I say, they could have went different routes with, with this. And it's always. All right, I'm gonna stop. I promise, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Um, Braxton, uh, the Dartabring. I tarpring, whatever. Ryan on some Jordan Peele combined with action stuff. I'm there. Okay. Uh, I'm good with that. All right. So, like I say, it looks like it's going to be an interesting movie. It looks like it's going to be good. Matter of fact, I, I, th I think it's great that they decide to, you know, go this route with this movie instead of just making just a straight up slave movie or a straight up uh, Jim Crow movie and things of that sort. I'm glad they decide to, you know, do something different with it instead of the same old thing. Um, I'm hoping, you know, Ryan Krugler and I'm hoping Michael B. Jordan gonna start to expand because these are very talented men. I think they, they, they have the opportunity now to expand on new things. And I'm always hoping for that. I, I'm hoping Tyler Perry decide because he's getting a lot of criticism for making the same thing over and over again. So I'm hoping that even though he's pushing back on that, I'm hoping that he get to the point where he'll say, you know what, maybe I should start taking risks now and start doing different things and having different types of people in my movie, not just whites or blacks, maybe Asian, maybe Hispanic, you know, all kind of stuff, Haitian, who knows, right? And I'm hoping Oprah do the same thing, okay? I don't agree with their politics. And I, you know, I'm hearing about them behind the scenes that they not the greatest people in the world, but I'm just talking about them as, as create, being create uh creators that's all i'm talking about the entertainment parts that's all i care about you know what i mean so i'm hoping that they start taking all these millions and billions of dollars they have and start doing it i mean tyler perry just built studios man and he going into ai from my understanding right i'm just hoping bad that they just expand on this stuff man just expand please start doing something different you know I think Tyler Berry one time talked about he was going to do sci-fi, man, but he never did it. He never went into it. He, he played in Star Trek, but that was it. But he didn't create anything. Hire some people. Hire some creative. That's another thing they seem to that they do all the time too. Because I find it interesting that a lot of these um, black people that do all these black pro type black films, they don't hire um, create cr creative people. To, to give them different types of insight. They try to do everything on their own. And then they'll brag about it like it's something smart to do. You know, like Tyler Perry. He want to write all his crap. Like, you can't hire uh, writers. And I think they won't hire white writers. You know, people that can give them different types of ideas to explore, to invest in. You know what I mean? I mean, to me, that's racist. If you're not trying to hire white people to help you do movies or Asian people or anybody. Try to collaborate with Asians and stuff like that. I think Wesley's Knights was kind of had something to do with all these Asians on um, Blade and stuff, which I found great. And he didn't, and speaking of Wesley Snipes, he just didn't do these slave movies, man. He did everything. Anything he could get his hands on, he did. And that's what I like. I like that. 
I think it's great. And I think these people got the, the money and the talent to do more than what they're doing. So I'm hoping, hoping that in the future they would do it. But other than that, this trailer does look good. And most likely, I'm going to watch it because it does look interesting. Now that I know it's about vampires in it, okay? Very interesting. Very interesting, okay? All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and Peace. You keep dancing with the devil. <laughs> One day he's gonna follow you home.